So, so far, according to this game, I am the best gamer in the history of all video games, so bow to me. Let's see that record get dashed. Mario, the creature with the headset got away, but I suppose you did clean up his mess. And being a plan of my word, it looks like I owe you a reward. Um, our good friends Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit Peach helped as well. Yeah, yeah, great. Okay, okay, here. That's right, kids, you can solve all your problems via physical violence. That's how you get the un the money you're owed. Sunflower. Still don't know what these means. But sooner or later I'll get some answer as to how to access those items and what they actually do. Here I come. I like how we're just not even acknowledging the fact that this world takes place in turn-based fashion somehow. I haven't learned how to do this yet. But... Well, it's just- it's just a box with ropes on it. I learned how to do this already. <laughs> oh well. Let's go see, see if they'll tell me how to use items sometime soon. I, I, I gotta say, I could have been worse. I'll take rabbits over minions, all things considered. Look at this sliding block puzzle area. Interesting. Can I slide these boxes around and then we do like a match against rabbits? Where like the location of those boxes affects the location of cover or something? That'd be interesting if there was like some pre setup before a match. Mario, thank goodness you're here. Yours is the first friendly face I've seen since the Mushroom Kingdom turns into this mess. Your timing couldn't be more perfect. I can't find Toadette. All thanks to the changes caused by these odd pipes, our rabid friends brought with them into your world. You guys seem to know what you're doing, sort of. Could you help me find her, please? Okay, but you're gonna f see firsthand how big of a pain these pipes are. That reminds me, I keep meaning to get around to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Oh, be quiet. Oh. I love when games do that. They're like, press A to continue, and then out of nowhere, like, this dialogue doesn't need press A to continue. It's gonna go on without you. Bye. Some person that works at Nintendo was just like, you know what the kids love? That one loading, that, that one sa uh, a screensaver from the 90s computers. Let's put that in all our games. Yeah, it'll just slowly go across these big 3D pipes everywhere. I'm like, ooh, look at this. And they're right, because it's hypnotic. It is hypnotic to watch those, watch the characters slowly go through those pipes over and over again. What? 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 I'm scared. What's happening? Uh, time limit. Time limit. Time limit. Time pressure scares me. I did good. New weapon, turbine. Looks like a giant hammer. Did they? Oh, is that just the new weapon? Probably the new weapon universal icon. Oh yeah, bottom left corner is the weapon itself. The little... It looks like another handgun of some kind. Hand cannon, not... well... Wrist... Laser. <laughs> handgun and hand cannon both imply pistol type things. Okay, you found a new item. Ah, we go. <laughs> Nobody tell anybody they didn't finish making that level. Shh, don't look at it.
I really hope that Mario never learns about the concept of irony. Hey, look at that. There's something about just the genuine upfrontness of, of the mood of all these games that's just infectious. Oh, well, that, she, she was actually pretty easy to find. Toadette, I'm so glad you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. Who I'm really worried about is Princess Peach. Mario, can you go back to Prince uh, to Peach's castle and make sure everything's all right? Certainly not. We need to find before. <laughs> we need a name for him, Mr. Goggles. Another message. Congratulations on getting this far. A wise man once said, "If I have three hours to chop a tree, I will spend two of them sharpening my axe." I urge you now to return to Princess Peach's castle and do just that. Prepare yourself for the fight to come. Well, that's all well and good, but how? You may be wondering, how? In the time it took you to read this email, I've updated your operating system. It now includes a new GPS warp me mechanism I call Sploing. The name is a work in progress. Anyhow, simply activate it and you, uh, and you and your friends will return to Princess Peach's castle immediately. Signed, your biggest fan. Well, that's amazing if it's true. I suppose I should give it a... And then all of the- then they all died. As they were disintegrated. But then a carbon copy of them was made somewhere else and nobody else knew the difference. Teleportation's scary. I guess dying and being reborn over and over again is not really a new concept for Mario though. Mario, thank heavens you're alright. It's so good to see you. You've probably noticed this, but the Mushroom Kingdom's been torn apart. You have to do something, Mario. Oh, uh, who are your new friends? Allow me, your highness. I am Beepo, an autonomously intelligent scientific research and operational assistant. I see, and we call this one Rabbit Luigi. And this is Rabbit Peach. Uh, she's taking her cosplay a bit too seriously, I'm afraid. Yes, their friends are also quite a spirited, as you can see. It appears as if the rabbits we freed from the Megabug's control have ended up here, and no worse for wear either. That's right, they keep popping in just like you did. Oh yes, they've been quite busy. I suggest you take a look at what they've built, if you have a chance. Balls? Iggy's Wrecking Balls? People remember that game? I believe it's something called a Battle HQ? Oh, that, that explains the, st the symbol we saw with the weird rabbit on the act, uh, hammer. And then there's the museum. They love to collect souvenirs from the Mushroom Kingdom. Come, let us see for ourselves what your rabid cousins have been up to. That goes somewhere. This one's under construction, looks like. I'm not so thrilled with the rabbit's work thus far. Let's hope this little project of theirs is more constructive. This gate won't budge. We'll need to find another way to that part of the garden. Uh, Peach, can you open the door? Peach, you own this place, right? That That's a painting of a rabbit with a plunger on his face. And then a picture of a plunger warning you of plungers. Because that's a threat for rabbits, is the idea of having a plunger on their face. So much so that they had to hire an artist to carefully construct artwork of the threat of the plunger menace.
Wow, we're really going. We're really going for it. Is this the opposite end? Looks like it. Fascinating. My sensors detect a near field communication. Let's return later. Again with the plunger face. Oh, that actually goes somewhere. I was afraid of looping back around, but no, this is a coin spot. Mine. <laughs> Mario runs away with his arms out. Believe it. Toadette. New 3D model. Check it out in the museum. Now we have an explanation of what those are. Now I understand. Where am I going? Still can't. Oh, getting dark now. In this Halloween looking area. If we could unlock these gates, we could visit this haunted slum of unimaginable horrors anytime we wanted. Great. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. I haven't learned how to do this yet. What, die? <laughs> I haven't learned how to be in a coffin yet. Maybe when I'm older. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, nobody tell him. Okay. That's a tree. Be in a tree. Huh. Mystery solved, I guess, about how to get behind that. If we could smash these blocks, we would visit this deadly industrial hellscape as much as we wanted. Oh, that's the joke. They're gonna be like, this is a nightmare horrible place. We could go here whenever we wanted if I could just open this one door. I'm like, um, no? Wow. This song is actually like cycling from instrument to instrument. A lot of arrangements for this classic little Peach's Castle theme. What is it? Ancient Garden's voiceover, I think? New gold artwork? Oh, VO might not be... Might not mean voiceover. Wah! We might be here for a while. There's a lot to explore. Oh. Statue? Ah, it took the Mushroom Kingdom Department of Public Works three years just to get the permits for the statue. Wait, you know... about that? I'm not clear on this- on who Beepo is. Apparently Beepo is from, or knows about, this world? So I guess- I guess the Mario world must be real? And the other kid probably already knows about it? Uh, guys are Goombas, new artwork. Lots of artwork. So maybe we're supposed to accept this as being a canonical area that also exists in the world as of, of the Big Hero 6 kid and whatnot. Downloadable content unlock the Pixel Pack! Don't forget to preview your next Pixel Pack. The new- your new Pixel Pack- weapon pack available now in the weapon selection section. <laughs> weapon selection section. Great. Team selection. Yeah. What a great, well-rounded variety of characters. That's what makes them better. Rabid Luigi has a better dash. In fact, his dash does like as much damage as of his weapon. Isn't his weapon 20 to... Th I think his weapon was 20 to 30? So his dash is actually like more damaging than his, his, his uh, gunshot. They all move six cells. These two have more health. Luigi has less health, less damage, but a higher damage dash, which is pretty good, because that's an addition to your normal attack. Hype exit range. Um, info. Increases Rabid Luigi's area of movement upon exiting a pipe. That's pretty good, so if you go into a pipe and come back out, you can move three. Team jump of six cells. Huh. Interesting. So those are more stats that can vary from character to character. Add? Oh, it's me picking my team, right. No choices yet. There's my weapons. The Lightning Shark. 
25 to 35 damage, 10 cell range, low damage to, against cover. Ooh. Hell in a shell. Hell is just right there in the in this game. I wasn't sure if they would use language like that, but they did. Ah, everyone has different weapons. You can't... Whoa. Dramatic sound. So everyone has different weapons, uh, and they, they're exclusive to each other, apparently. What does bounce damage? The damage dealt when a weapon's super effect is triggered. Bounce sends combatants hurtling backwards to the air, even sailing out of bounds. 10% chance of bouncing. Of course, that's, this is basically them saying critical hit chance, but it's bouncing because the, mo the worst thing that can happen to somebody in the Mario universe is bouncing because that's lethal. <laughs> so this weapon has a 10% chance of just sending people sailing, doing more, doing uh, even more damage than the normal attack normally would do. I don't know if that's in addition to the normal damage, like, like, like if you're more than doubling it, or if it's just somewhat higher damage plus the bounce. Honey chance. Damage dealt when a weapon super effect is triggered. Honey causes combatants to be stuck, preventing them from moving for one turn. You can paralyze an opponent. Only 10% chance, though. 10% chance is not great. Against Ziggy's. Raises the hit damage of this weapon against this type of enemy. Specifically Ziggy's. So that's the guys with the zigzag symbol on their face. Look at you. The Fragmenter. This is what I got as a result of the code that came with the game. It was just in the box. 30% chance of honey, that's better. 60 damage. 30 to 40, so it's plus 5 compared to my current weapon. 30% chance. Oh, it raises the chance of triggering the super effect against this type of enemy. So it goes to a 60% chance of honey against Ziggy's. Interesting. Mixed feelings there about them giving me those weapons and a pre-order bonus, or... Not, it's not even a pre-order bonus, because I didn't pre-order the game. I just walked into a store and got it, like, a week after it came out. The Fragmenter. On one hand, I'm like, this is potentially overpowered that they just give it to me, but on the other hand, I'm like, it seems dumb to just actively ignore something that I have in my inventory. Do you have fewer weapons? Nope. Just the 8-bit the thing shows up sooner. So you're at 25 to 35, you have a honey weapon. Or a more honey -er weapon. This one does 30% bonus chance against hoppers. You got this earlier, the turbine. Burn chance, that's a new one, and push. So you have two new stats. Push. Uh, damage down on super effect. Push knocks participants backwards along with any other combatants in their path, even out of bounds. So instead of a bounce, it's a physical push that can hit other people. 30% chance right there. Burn damage. Burn lights combatants of flame for more damage can spread from one battler to another. Might even be a friendly fire thing, honestly. There's a 30% chance. Tempting. I just made a mistake, didn't I? Yeah, it's 50% chance of pushing. I mixed it up with being... Yeah, I, I just got that and I forgot that I'd have to buy it. Oh well. Burn could be interesting though. This is a push one. 25 to 35. Burn could be pretty good though. Eh, mixed feelings. Uh, 50%, it's 30% chance of happening, 30 bonus percent chance against hoppers. Don't know what hoppers are yet. But we'll see them, I think. It's equipped? Yeah. I am going to be lighting rabbits on fire. So, uh, you know, shield the eyes of your little ones that are watching. And also stop watching my content with children, probably. <laughs> it's probably not a great call anyway. So this is how Axis World won. <laughs> Preliminary ballistic analysis reveals that this cannon could send us back to the ancient gardens. Unfortunately, it's not active. I suppose we should visit the Battle HQ and Museum first. Game just throws angry cannons at me as a regular feature. Oh, that, nothing there. Learn how to do it. Learn faster, robot. Why aren't you learning processor computer? Museum.
We've got artwork. That's probably it for now. Yep. Wait, did I see that one already? Yeah, just, oh. It, oh, you have to highlight it from this menu to make it be marked as red, not from the other menu. Whoops. Oh, oh, weird. It lagged for a second. Aha! Uh -huh. Look over there! Those clever rabbits have outfitted a cannon so that it can launch us back to the ancient gardens. This this comes in handy as our mysterious helper gave me the power to warp to Princess Peach's castle. And the cannons can send us back to the front. The ability to return to Princess Peach's castle at will has even been added to the pause menu. This one? Do I just scroll up? Oh no, I'm already here. We'll have to check later. I'm not done with you. I left on accident because the interface lagged for a second. There's the opening song. 3D models. What is this, Smash Brothers? Basically. That's pretty much where we're going with this. Did I miss one already? How? No, what have I done? I'm so sorry, everybody. What are these called? Tarot's. Tarot cards. They just built that thing, it already has goop on one of the eyes. That's why they had to build two. I don't even know how telescopes work. The mega bug damaged the rabbit's combo washer and time machine, else I'd take a trip to the French Baroque period. Okay. Huh. It's like a TARDIS crossed with the uh, DeLorean. Oh, you go somewhere. Aha! No secrets escape me. More music. Ziggy's battle. Have I completed the loop? Oh, there's something new. This must be another one of the worlds. If we could move these blocks, we could visit this hostile, unforgiving wasteland anytime we wanted. <laughs> we would all die. Hooray! Let's go hop in a cannon. That's safe. I'm sure that your fragile electronics won't be demolished in the process. Didn't really see ourselves get fired out, did we? Look at that little hand animated rabbit. It's all, it's all sketch animation. Oh, hey. So now Battle HQ is mapped to. No. Oh. Okay. It just gives me access to this. Okay. I'm like, no, don't take me back to Peach's, uh, Peach's Castle in one button with no prompt. But that's not what happened. This is a different starting point, because we have, like, coins to grab. I don't think this is the same spot we were in before. World 1-3, danger from above! <gasps> it's a hopper! You're gonna be so on fire soon. I'm gonna burn you so hard. Team Jumping Jerks. Fly. Heck, a new breed of hopping enemies. Team Jump will prove invaluable here. Use it to gain the upper hand. They seem too distracted by their, their spring boots to even notice us. Oh, here they come. It's a Ziggy and three hoppers. What's this? Our pseudonymous sympathizer just sent me a system update. From now, before combat begins, you can choose whether to leap headlong into the heat of battle, or take time to carefully plan your strategy first. Thanks to, uh, uh, thanks to this new app called uh, Tacticam. Try it. Prepare for battle? 
Oh. How? How does this work? Do I just look around? Okay, so they do 20 damage. Garden Ziggy. Garden Hopper. What does lock do? Unlock. I don't understand. What? Oh, that took me back to Battle HQ, right. Um, can I move them? Oh, A just starts the fight. Oh, sorry, I think this is just a briefing screen. I don't think you can, like, pick your formation or anything like that. I think it just is a way to look around and that's it. I was looking for an opportunity to, like, tell people where to go or something. Let's see, so somebody should take cover. Not gonna get any further from here. Let's see, you should be able to shoot from up here. Yeah, that works. He's out in the open. Oof, you're not moving anywhere. Oh, you're gone. Wow. That's some really lucky, immediate critical damage. Getting behind cover! This team hopping mechanic really changes things, actually. He, look at what is the angle he's leaning at? He's leaning over backwards. His head's- his face is facing the, the sky. What a bizarre view. Oops. That didn't quite work. Ow! I'm waiting to see cover actually get demolished, because it seems like a mechanic that may actually exist. Let's see. You're supposed to have a bonus against hoppers, right? Actually, it was Luigi that did. Just go right over here. Aha! How's that cover working out for you now? As I shoot them point blank in the face. I can tackle him, then go jumping over here. Batoing. And try to finish him. You have 24 hit points, he should go down. 22. Well, so much for that piece of luck. Can't reach you guys from over here though, so I'm on my own with Peach. I can kick this person in the face, and that's always fun. Boink. Oof. Well, you're not going anywhere. But I guess they don't need to if they're just gonna shoot me right now. Ah, uh, no. Pain. Hey, where are you going? You running away? Oof. Highlight that real quick. Alright. You can probably just run into this guy, right? There we go. Run into that guy, then run behind cover. They're both over here, so that kind of works as cover. Ooh, I can reach all the way to you. Which means that I can have you get thrown. Wow, that's a lot of ground to cover in one turn with Mario. Bye-bye. Oh, 
Whoopsie. Well, I guess we're clear. Six turns, huh? They thought it'd be that long. Right, now we gotta double back. So that was a whole arena we just went through. So can I do anything else here? Or not? Oh, hey, the, the flags even changed. They're, they're uh, little rabid faces at first, and they get replaced by uh, Peach's castle over time. There we go. 